So today we're gonna do a little bit of a web editor tutorial. So I'm just gonna go through this really quickly and uh, show you guys how it works in case you're having a bit of trouble. So I've picked this animation right here. We're gonna start customizing it. So let's start with the colors. The first color option I have is the rarity badge gradient, which is this badge right here. And for the overall scene, I think I'm gonna go for something of a teal color. So for this, I'm also gonna go with that theme and make it a teal gradient. So for the end, I'm gonna pick a darker color and yeah, that should look good. Then for the background color, I'm gonna go with that teal. Now I'm gonna hit preview change changes. This will start previewing the changes and start changing the scene. Now this does not account for monthly downloads, so you can do this as much as you want. But keep in mind that there is a preview cooldown, so don't do it too quick. But our animation is now sped out and I think those are the perfect colors for me. So I don't need to change them. So now I'm going to go onto the text. The item name is called the sword. And the rarity badge, I'm going to leave it as legendary, but you can put it as whatever you want. And for the descriptions, the same applies. So I'm just going to put whatever. And now I'm going to preview that. Oh, and perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to go to images and I'm going to put my main item image in. So I'm just going to drag and drop it in. And now we're just going to click use images. For the background, I'm going to use one of the preset ones because I think this one will look the best. Same with the item description icons. I think they all look good, but I am going to change the middle one to something I already have. And there we go. We just dragged and dropped it. Now we're going to hit use image and you could change the crafting recipe the same way but i won't need to so for now i'm gonna click preview changes and see how that looks okay that's already looking really good but i do want to change a few things and that's where we're gonna go to values so for my item size i'm gonna make it only five points bigger just because i want it just a teeny bit bigger and here's a little hack for you guys if you use your arrow keys you could go up or down by one so if i go right i'm able to go exactly to 145 and now my description three as you can see is not showing that's because this value is at zero. So I'm going to put it to 100 so it shows. And for my crafting grid, I don't want the first three items showing. So I'm going to just turn that off. And I would like where it says the sword to be on the left. So I'm just going to click item position left and go invisible. That should fix it. Now I'm just going to preview our last changes. Now that we got the previewed version, this is exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to go over here and click download. And now it's going to take a little bit to export my animation. And now that the download is finally ready, I'm going to click download. And then drag and drop it into my editing software and put it on the timeline. For a final product that looks something like this. 